This is David, Jonah, and this is Jonah, yeah, uh, Jonah's Jonah. apples. <laughs> so what do you got? What do we got here? We got, where you're standing at is a 20 acre of apple orchard. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Let's take a look. Our apple sugar book processor all over here. So yeah. this is your commissary kitchen, yeah? Yeah, this is a commercial kitchen. The commercial kitchen. Yeah. This is the juice machine. Yeah. This is what makes the juice. So this is where the apples yeah, are processed. Yeah. Cool. And obviously I, I, I it's not going on here today. Easy. But this is where it's done. Mm -hmm. And it goes into the this washer. Is, this is the dumper. Yeah. <laughs> then they get washed and they go through and we've seen the process. I think Here's some cold storage. These are the farmer's market trucks. Yeah. Are they? There's the tractor. So you've got 20 acres, yeah? Yeah. Wow. A lot of work, huh? If you come during here, uh, come here in April, the flower. Say that again? If you come here in April, uh, these all these trees is full of white flowers. Oh, I bet it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. It probably smells good, too. <laughs> yeah. Do you smell that, Mom? Yep. It's nice. You have um, how many different varieties? I see uh, that. We have what, about five? 10 to 12 varieties. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I, I want to ask you a question about something. If you have, um, if you have, let's say, apples, and let's say the variety we're talking about is, let's say, honey crisp apples, and the harvest season is in August, mm -hmm. um, you can do one of two things. You can go in and amend your certificate to say, how long would the apples last in, in oh, cold storage? Oh, in cold storage, they could easily yeah. last up to Puget nine months. Puget is almost right. So yeah. it's almost year round. Year yeah, round, almost, Puget. Yeah. So, so in December, we're picked two days before, uh -huh. and they don't even know that cold. They don't know about cold storage. They don't yeah. understand. They think, oh, this is this is not cool. It was picked in August, and now you're trying to sell it in December. Yeah. This isn't right. What, yeah. what would you say to that? They don't know it's in the cold storage, and then we know what I normally tell the customer. So the question is. Say a customer uh -huh. is shopping at a farmer's market, it's December, and they're buying your apples that, that were harvested in August. Uh -huh. And you and I know that you have cold storage, and it's been in cold storage, and it wasn't just picked a day or two prior. Mm -hmm. And the customer doesn't understand the concept yeah. of cold storage. I see your point. Their concept, their, their understanding of farmer's markets is it was picked yesterday or the day before. Uh -huh. What would you say to that? What I tell them, uh, apple harvest is only during from uh, August to November. And then from there, after that, it goes into cold storage. And then uh, what I normally tell our, my customer at the uh, farmer's market, uh, if you're gonna keep this apple for a uh, longer time than uh, two weeks, put it in a Ziploc bag and keep it in the coldest drawer in the refrigerator. Make sure there's no vegetable involved. You'll be surprised, it'll last over six months easily. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do have a lot of plastic bags. Yeah. No, for the customer, the, I told them, I tell them to put in a Ziploc bag and oh. put it in the coldest drawer. So, what do you think is the best way to handle um, to handle the situation? Is it better to amend your certificate to year round, or is it better to educate to keep it at the harvest season when it is, and to educate the customer that we have cold storage and this is what cold storage means? Yeah, basically that's what I've been doing. What? Uh, educating them that apple lasts uh, easily nine to ten months easily. And that we have a cold storage, you know, we keep it sealed. And what is the response to that? What's the reaction that you get? Oh, I did not know that. And then some other customer come back to me. Yeah, I put it in a Ziploc bag, kept it in the coldest dry. I had it for over two weeks easily. It feels fresh. That's what they tell me. <laughs> and it's funny for you because it's like, duh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for us regular guys, people, we're like a little... Yeah. Getting educated here. Okay, well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure um, being with you guys today at your farm. It's beautiful, and um, I'm going to enjoy my canned peaches that I got from you and my applesauce for sure. Thank you. Thank you.